it's Amanda and today I'm going to do my December TBR. In December I already read two books, one that I had started in November and one that I just started and finished yesterday. So I'm not going to talk about those but I will talk about the books that I chose for December. As usual I have chosen way more books than I will ever read in a month but I have a lot of things to choose from. I have a lot of Christmas books and I love reading Christmas books, but I can only read Christmas books around Christmas. It's like my own personal rule. So I'm going to try to cram as many in as I can. I don't expect to read everything in this DVR by any means because Christmas is a crazy time. We'll see how it goes. These are just kind of something to pick from. I don't expect to read them all. The first book is the one that I just started reading today and it is... Reconstructing Amelia by Kimberly McCrate. I believe I had this in my November TBR and I didn't make it to this one. I wasn't able to read it. But so far it's pretty good. I'm not very far at all. I've read 32 pages. So far it's interesting. This is my only Christmas read for the month, not counting the two that I finished yesterday. So I'm going to be in the season this month. The next one I chose is The Christmas Cookie Killer by Livia J. Washburn, A Cozy Mystery. My husband thinks this is such a funny title for a book. He is pushing me to read it. I don't know why. I think he wants to know what it's about. But I love the cover of it. It just reminds me of Christmas. And it's just a nice color. And so hopefully I will get to this one soon. And then I remember that I have... The Bind Up of the Silent Night collection from Fear Street by R.L. Stein. This has Silent Night, Silent Night 2, and Silent Night 3. I think that's what they're called. Yes. And they're about this girl on Fear Street that I think was not a nice person. She was the richest, snobbiest, nastiest person in Shady Side. So I might read one or all or none, but. I grabbed this because it seems like it'll be a fun story. One that I definitely want to get to is Santa Cruz by Mary Higgins Clark and Carol Higgins Clark. I love the idea of a mystery on a cruise ship that has to do with Christmas. So much fun. I used to love Mary Higgins Clark. I read her books like crazy when I was in high school. And then I kind of stopped reading them. So I haven't read one by her in a long time. I'm really excited to pick this one up. And I think I'll be picking this one up fairly soon. Then I have Plum Pudding Murder by Joanne Fluke. This is one of those cozy mysteries that has to do with food and cooking. I know this is part of a series. I'm assuming you don't really have to read it in order. I think it just has the same character in it throughout who solves mysteries. I don't mind reading books out of order in series, so I'm going to pick it up. And it has a recipe. This one has recipes too. If I like to bake, I'd be set, but I don't really, so... We'll see. One that I'm going to read towards the end of the month is Angels at the Table by Debbie McComer. I've never read anything by this author. I've heard good things about her. This one takes place in Times Square, New York City on New Year's Eve. So I'll be reading it around New Year's Eve. I bought this mainly by because of the cover. I love the cover of this book. This is one that I'm not sure what I'm going to think of because I looked it up on Goodreads and it has literally like three ratings. That's all. It is Scarlet Season by Laura Gordon. I picked this up at the Goodwill. I was intrigued by the story. This cover is pretty cool. It's a Harlequin intrigue. I've never read Harlequin. But it doesn't sound like it's a mainly a romance story. It's about a woman who's decorating for Christmas and she witnesses a hit and run that leaves the victim near death. That sounds good. I'm going to give it a chance. I can't promise that I'll finish it, but I hope I enjoy it enough to do that. I'm also going to try to read Silent Night by Mary Higgins Clark. I actually owned this book in hardcover when I was in high school. I belonged to a book club a long time ago, and you could pick books and they'd send them to you. This was one that I picked. I really enjoyed this one. I remember really liking it when I read it back then. So I'm going to reread it. I picked it up again because... I didn't keep the books from high school, unfortunately. I'm going to read this one, hopefully. And then I have four more that are maybe books. These are going to be the kind of books I could finish in a couple hours anyway. But I picked them up because they're fun and I'm interested to read them. So I have some Sweet Valley books. I have Sweet Valley High, Special Christmas by Francine Pascal. 
I never read this one. This is one that I did read when I was about 10 or 11 years old. My brother actually bought me this book for Christmas, so I remember it very well. It's The Christmas Ghost, and it's I think it's like a spin on The Christmas Carol. Jessica's a wicked, horrible girl in every book. She never really learns her lesson, but she um, gets taught a lesson by the ghost in this book. So I thought this would be fun to revisit just because I loved this book when I was a kid and I remember reading it every year for Christmas. And then I also have The Magic Christmas, which is a fantasy with the Sweet Valley Twins and it actually has very good reviews on Goodreads. Most of these books don't, but a lot of people like this one and said it's very different from the other books and it's like a fantasy and it's really fun. So I might pick this one up hopefully this this month. And the last one is Big for Christmas and so apparently they make a wish and they grow up. I don't know if I'll get to this one, but again, fun. I picked these up at my Goodwill for like 50 cents a piece just last month and I was really excited to read them. So we'll see. But that's my TBR. As I said, it's very ambitious and very impossible, but I have a lot to choose from and who knows, I might stray from it and pick something else completely different. Who knows? Thanks so much for watching. I hope you all have a great month and I'll see you next time. Bye.